Yeah, what's up guys and welcome to day 19 of the Road to Glory. So, in today's episode we are selling on our weekend league investments, we're picking up some silvers, we're doing a bit of chem style trading, we're I guess increasing our knowledge on icon and inform prices, we're rash investing at 6pm, we're then investing in players after 6pm, and then we're showing you another little trading method and we're explaining the lazy buy method. So, as you can tell, a lot of content in today's video, so uh, yeah, no need for an intro, but do enjoy the video. So to end off today's episode, I actually have got a little bit of a uh, another trading uh, tip for you guys. So we've actually gone and sold on a lot of these silvers for the same price we bought them because I would prioritise basically selling the golden forms over them. But we've also sold on a town for 50, for 59k. Now, the, what there is, is and it's a, it's a very strange strat, is that you apply a training onto an inform or absolutely anyone and you can normally sell it well. In the last few minutes of them being listed, normally you can sell them for a little bit more. It's a very, very strange strap, but it's uh, something you know that does work. So uh, yeah, basically been doing this to all of these Eternals that are listed. And likewise, same with all the Ingers, just because, again, it's a very strange strap, but it is something that goes and works. Uh, something I would like to show you as well is a towel is up quite nicely. What are Eternals for, uh, I'm pretty sure, 40k or under, he's now sitting at... He is fluctuating a little bit in the day, but he's now saying about 47, 48k, which is uh, which is pretty, pretty decent. We've also got the Ingers as well, which I did go and buy on for 17.5 and under. And again, likewise, I think it's the exact same story. He is now sitting on probably around about 20k right now. So yeah, decent profit on these players. I'm probably not actually going to be selling them on yet. I'll probably sell them on lazy buys and then maybe let's sell them on this evening. Um, just because I you know, kind of want to keep them for when people are building their teams today. But uh, yeah, very, very happy with the outcome of that. Um, any coins we definitely lost on the Laporte's as well. We made back at 6 because of the decent SBCs. So uh, yeah, pretty, pretty decent episode. Hope you guys did enjoy as well. You see that the background's changed as well. Just, uh, just kind of done that. But yeah, thanks for watching today's video. And I shall see you guys in another episode. So I'll give you guys a little update how we've been doing with rewards. So... So the first thing we've been doing basically is stacking up on loads and loads and loads of uh, silvers, basically buying them all relatively cheap and selling them all. Let's see if we can get to the part where uh, we got the silvers. Here's where they all are. So I've been buying turnballs for like 600 coins, selling for 1 2, Gomez for 1k, selling for 2k, Saunders for 800, selling for a k, uh, all these Hartleys under a k, selling for 2k. Uh, it's going along here and we got like Sims bought for 700. So basically, every single play we should be making double our coins on. Uh, so that's the play. Now, Laporte, who we bought for 52, and with Shadow for 55. We'll go and show you how they're looking. But yeah, it's not looking uh, too bad at the moment. So we go Laporte, Scooby Doo Doo. We're about to be 52 without a Shadow. And at the moment, he did actually drop all the way down to 50. So even though he's uh, probably not up much, still promising there goes higher than that. So. About 54k right now. Yeah, 54k and rising and rising. So he's already up 2k without a shadow. But again, he did drop to 50. So it does show, you know, the rebounding quite nicely. And we bought with 55 with a shadow. Again, he's going for more than that. Yeah, he's up probably about 3k without a sh uh, with a shadow, which is nice. Tiago Silvers as well, who we went and bought for. Um, I think it was 55 with a shadow is now up to... About 71k, so he's up 6k with a shadow. And without a shadow, we bought for 53. He's basically the exact same price with a shadow and without a shadow. So he's up uh, 8k without a shadow, which is uh, which is decent. Now, I've been doing a little bit, as I've been basically spamming up loads of um, spamming up loads of silvers and now just doing a little bit of chem style trading. I uh, got ourselves a really good deal right here. Well, we've got two Guedes. We've got one for 5k and one for 3.5k. Again, we're just going to be doing this probably until midday. We've got like an hour, probably an hour and a half of doing this. And then we'll probably go and sell my players on. Uh, so, Guedes is. We've got one for five and one for 3.5. Survey says. Lovely. Survey says we're going to make some good money. Uh, we'll probably sell both for 8k, so they sell pretty fast. So we're going to make, what, 4.5k on the one for, got for 3.5 and 3k on the one we bought for 5, which is decent. Let's go set for Ryan Fraser for, what are you getting, for 5k, didn't we? Yeah, that could very easily not be a good deal. But uh, yeah, the Guedes is really good. I also missed a Willian this morning. Um, what did I miss him for? Mr. Willian this morning for 6.9k of a Hunter, which was literally only 2k more. But I didn't know his price. And here's one thing that uh, I get a lot of people going, oh, you know, this method doesn't work. But what it probably is, or I haven't got any deals in an hour. But what it is, is like how I didn't know what Willian was worth. And I had to go and double check. And then by the time I double checked, his price was down. Oh, sorry, he sold. 
That's, you know, that's that's kind of what you got to expect. When you're first off doing a method, you're learning prices. You're not going to know deals instantly. Therefore, you're probably going to get outbought on deals because other people would have done this method for a while and therefore known prices. Yeah. Saying that as I uh, go and actually overbuy for a Fraser. But, um... So the more you do the methods, the faster you get. It's like me with learning icon trading. You know, I'm not getting every deal instantly because I'm hesitating on a lot of players because I don't know prices. But as I learn more and more prices and become more and more confident, I'm just going to be getting, you know, like three, four, five, potentially times the deals because I'm not hesitating on players. Uh, Fraser on itself for five, two, and make a little bit of a loss. But that's always one thing you've got to understand. When, you, when you're learning trading, don't feel that you have to make a mad amount of coins instantly because it's, it's a learning process. You, you know, you're, you're basically buying... Because other people don't know the prices and they're, min you know, listing less than they're worth. But, yeah, not bad. Uh, decent. Also, these governments we've kind of made at least a K on, which is good. So, I'll give you guys a little update. Uh, Guedes has both uh, bought for 3, 5, and 5. So, for 8, Sarah Beer, I think, was just sitting in the club. We've sold him. Got us a bunch of other deals. So, let's go and show you said deals. So, we've got ourselves Felipe. Got one Felipe for 4.8. Going to list him up for 6. I've got another Felipe for 4.8. Going to list him up for 6. Got herself another flea pay for five, can list them up for six. Got herself a parasite for six point five, can list them up for eight point five. Uh, got a tar for four point six, can list them up for six. Sorry, four point five, can list up six. I'm getting a bit carried away. And got a thorn for three point three, can list up for four. I think that's all she wrote. Let me have a look. At it. Basically, because we're heavily unassigned, it's not going to show me all deals at once. Yeah, that's all she wrote. There you go. We're actually, um, just off of being unassigned, because we've got forty nine items. So anything I do buy will be sent to the front. We got a noon, I guess, here for 700. You can list them up for two, so not looking too bad. We're just going to keep up with the chem style trading. Uh, I mean, I'm only still on nine Ks. Marcelo Laporte or a Tiago Silva to get some coins, but yeah, not bad. So we got a little bit of an update for you guys. Fraser, we sold on another uh, Laporte to fund a little bit more chem style trading. Uh, I think we lost like 200 coins in tax, so it's nothing too deep. So we got some good deals. So let's go and walk you through the deals. So the first thing we got right here is Fear Poe got for three, putting in itself for four five. Uh, De La Fague for three, going to sell for four two. And we got this absolutely cracking deal on Hector Bellerin for 7. Now, Bellerin normally sells for 6.7k. So, we got him with a shadow for generally 400 coins. So, let's go have a little look how it's looking. Bellerin, 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 Bellerin is looking not bad, Shadow. There we go. It's going for 7. And we'll be able to sell him for... Oh, these are some good numbers. Uh, but yeah, so probably for a very easy 11k. So, that's a nice little 4k profit on Bellerin. And as I say, there's loads of players that are actually making into, like, because obviously a fair few players keep dropping and dropping. The, uh, I guess the roster of players you trade with in this filter uh, is consistently changing. So, yeah, like, uh, recently we've got Willian is made into the roster. Obviously, Bellerine's made into the roster. Ferlin Mendy, not Ferlin Mendy, uh, Benjamin Mendy's made into the roster. But, yeah, not bad. Uh, easy little 4K right there. I'll take it. So, both Silver Deals and uh, Kempstar Trading coming in. Boyd for 3-2, so for 4 Going for 7, sell for 11. Going for, I think, 3, 5, sell for 4, 5. Uh, going for 1.5, sell for 2. Going for 600 coins, sell for 1.2. Going for, I think, even 300 coins, sell for 1.4k. Not bad. Uh, we're going to show you a few more deals we've got over in the 3rd Central. So, I don't think there's been uh, anything too mad now. We've got to sell Hulk for 4. going to sell for about 5.5, I'm pretty sure. And go Gelson Martinez for 4, 5. I'm pretty sure we sell for 5, 5. And we'll show you a few silver deals I managed to pick up as well. Got ourselves uh, Arribo for 500, going to go and sell him for a K. Got ourselves Vela for 500, 400, going to sell him for a K. So over doubling my coins and those. And if we score to the end, I might have a few more interesting deals. Uh, a lot of heart leads. I've kind of listed a lot of this guy up already, so I don't really want to be listing even more of him. We'll send that to the club and actually go and show you some more deals. Because I'm sure, um, yeah, I'm sure a few things have gone under. Uh, what's it called? We've got a few deals, but they've been thrown to the back. No, just a bunch of Harleys. But yeah, I've been picking up loads of uh, Baker, the Scottish uh, left mid from uh, Rangers. Been picking them up for like 700. Going to be selling for about 1.5k. So, been picking up basically loads of two of the English and German midfielders who are cheap. And going to be selling them for double the price I bought them for. So, I've been getting uh, a few little shadow deals, as you can see. Uh, we'll walk you through this. This Schools was amazing. 4.9k. If I'm not wrong, he's selling for uh, about 9.5k right now. So, that's an easy, uh, easy little 5k on him. Uh, we then have Tieni, we got for 4.2k. I guess I'm going to show you his price right now, because I'll be completely honest with you. I'm not too sure. Uh, a few of the silver sold on, nothing too mad. But I've also been doing a little bit of research on, um, when I said yesterday that we're basically start, like, basically finding out the prices of loads of cheaper icons. That's, uh, what the plan of action is. So, uh, yeah, I've been basically adding loads of the transfer list, seeing what they're selling for, and kind of building a bit of a price bank for them. Now, we bought him for 4.2k, but Tieni, it seems to, uh... Put it politely. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, there we go. 
I'm probably going to go list up. I'd probably say both for 4.7. I think a 4.7 wouldn't be madly unrealistic. Again, a lot of people are building their Prem teams today, so it should be good. So this one got for 3.7. Give yourself a 4.7. And I think the other one was bought for... What is it? 4.2. Give yourself a 4.7. Yeah, not amazing deals in the end of the day. Um, got yourself Bernard here with a, what, a Hunter for 3.7. And a Hakimi here for 5. But yeah, nothing too much. Been doing a little bit of chemsole trading in between... Basically, I've been alternating chemsole trading, picking up silvers, and... Um, just checking icon prices, like increasing my uh, knowledge on. So we've had uh, a few things uh, sell on. We got a Tiago Silva selling for 75. Uh, I think we would have bought it for about 65. So uh, after tax, that is a 6.5k profit. And we got a Schul sell on who we got for uh, 4.6, sell for uh, 9.5. So that is a nice little 5k profit. But yeah, just selling on the um, the silvers on lazy buyers right now. So yeah, it shows you that it's a lazy buy sell because. I think Silver's only actually going for about 72k right now. So he's selling 3k more with uh, just some lazy buyers. I can go show you right now. Tio Silver, Scooby Dooby Doo. 70, because I think he's down a little bit right now. Yeah, you can see I just sold on lazy buyers. So seven, is he down for 17 nowadays? Yeah, he's dropping at the moment. I say, I mean, no mad, uh, no mad panic, because in the end of the day, we're still making money. So actually ch chilling on the yeah, I was gonna say if that was chilling on the market, but yeah, not bad. Just selling for lazy and lazy buyers, and uh, doing a little bit of doing a little bit more research into um, you know icon. So right here we have got a demonstration of lazy buyers. Laporte we've just sold for sixty one k. Now this will be a Laporte with shadow, uh, more likely than not. But we'll uh, we're going to show you what Laporte is actually selling on, and this just shows you it doesn't make sense, right? There's there's no reason for I guess you guys to actually understand why this works, because it's irrational. You know why would someone want to go and buy a card that is Whatever. Um, you know, why would someone ever want to go and buy a card that is way more than the others? But we've just kind of sold him right there for, what is it, 50... Sorry, 61k. Uh, I've, I've underdone it by a few k. Whereas a Shadow Hunter... And we've actually just gone and bought one, actually, for 25.5. But these are going for... I'd even say a comfortable 28k. Uh, well, I'd say a comfortable 28k. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, no, no. Sorry. The way of looking at this is saying... Okay, well, matey could, out, could have gone on the market and very easily bought one of these, right? Literally, these have been sitting on the market for 10 minutes. But no, what someone's actually done is they've just seen my one and bought it for 61k. Now, if I show him for 61k, he's flooded. But what they've basically done... So there's no reason for them to buy them like that. What they've basically done, right, is someone's gone... And I'm, I'm trying to explain to you the irrationalism, irrationalism of uh, someone buying a Laporte. Basically, what someone's done, right, is they want Laporte for their team. So they've probably more likely than not done this, right? They've headed over here, thrown the concept and put Laporte in. So I say, you can go and do this for absolutely any player. At least you just listen to them for more than they're worth. They've probably gone and done that. It's not going to work because I already have them in the club. But let's say he wasn't there. And I'm going to go and try and search for him on the market. Which isn't actually going to work. All right. Yeah, it doesn't really fit with how I uh, want to explain. But basically what they do is they probably have up this screen, right? And they'd probably see mine for 61k and go, Yeah, that looks like a good price. Let me go and buy it. Like, they haven't gone and searched the market. They've basically been irrational around it. So uh, that's why he lists up for lazy buyers, because people will just can't, like, people with too much money, I mean, he's 60k, so people probably have a bit of money if they're buying him. They can't be arse searching, like, how much he's worth. They're like, yeah, screw it, I'll just go and buy that one. And that's why I literally have every single player, when I'm not selling them, listed up for a lazy buy, because, again, it's, you know, they, they sell on loads. In fact, there's someone I've been to, they said a, they sold a Deli Alley today for 30k. Deli Alley's going for 9.4k. They sold a Damson Sanchez for 65k. He's going for 45k. Like, there's no reason to never have players listed up for lazy buys because... You know, people have too much money to then you know to do to then they uh, know what to do with. So that's why you see every single player list up for lazy buys. But that's just a little uh, a little thing to tell you guys. If you do have loads of stuff in your transfer list, I was actually teaching Vize, another FIFA YouTuber. He just had a full transfer list. I was like, just list these players up. Like people are going to buy them for you know because they're just irrational. But there you go. There's a little segment about uh, just explaining lazy buys to you guys and uh, why you should always have players listed. Give you a little update of how uh, Laporte's went, awfully. Uh, we're, we're covering tanks, so we'll probably end up making like 50, 60k across all of them, because a few of them were sniped, but yeah, sadly, he's, uh, he's not doing overly, um, well, too amazingly, basically. But uh, nonetheless, we're selling on for uh, at least covering tax, and then maybe like five, 600 coins per car, but yeah, a bit tragic. Didn't go up anywhere as, near as much. Why didn't they go up? Uh, I can only, well, I mean, the, one of the problems was they went down to 50k, before he even started rising. Uh, second part, probably again, he's just not a madly demanded player, Laporte. So, yeah, didn't do overly amazing. But uh, here's what it is, you know. We've held, you know. All right, here we go, boys. 30 seconds to go. Da-da, 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 da-da
Can I actually click on the SPC? Sometimes I get a glitch where I can't click on the SPCs, I do. And a one, and your winner today is. Oh, 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 oh that's sick! What do you want? 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 One league gun player. All right, that's kind of sick. Kind of sick that he won. All right, what else have we got? League gun players dead. Bunzia players dead. I first go over move around players. I might go for the league in one, maybe. Oh, she. But then, like, that's not hard. You can go Liberian centre backs. Silver players, minimum of three. For the same nation. I mean, that's not like. You go silver Italians or silver Liberians. Uh, league in guy is pretty good, damn pog. Um. What's his links then? You go by a bunch of inform ingers or inform towels if you want to get him linked up. He's that's kind of interesting. Uh, did they have they announced Scream or anything like that, chat? And did he? Um, no, I'd go with Lee. I'm going to go for a bunch of in. Let me go check him. What's he going for, Inga? Just as like a link investment. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. No loading screen at the moment? Hmm. I might go and buy some of them, just because, like, the link investments kind of suck. A little bit risky, chat, but, uh, you know, risk it for a chocolate biscuit. I uh, can go have high-rated left-backs and right-backs, chat, for that league and guy. Renato Sanchez, yep. Munier for league and, yep. What's a towel? I might go get some towels. Please be cheap. Please be cheap, Mr. Atal. Please be cheap. Mm. Oh, it's a towel being recently. A towel, a towel, a towel, a towel. Why am I getting this guy? Because the left mids from the league and suck. Um, so as a result, these might do well. Uh, he's been going for today. Thirty-seven. Uh, screw. It. I'm gonna take a punt with it. Because the league and left mids suck. If you want a white chat, link investment, because again, League and Left Wing suck, and as a result of them sucking, there's no real good guys to link him up with. If you want to invest, though, yeah, Kolarov's, um, Kolarov's and that lot should do pretty well. Three star skills, goddamn pacey League and striker. I don't care. Come on. Oh my god. I'd rank you? Nah, I'd rank you. gonna be too, cool, uh, too common, I think. Alright, let's just go and get some investments then. So, like, 82 rated. Where's my list of 82 rated cards going to get? Oh, uh, okay. Scooby Dooby Doo, give me a sec. But 10 Sarabiers, cheap scenario. Alright, now I'm gonna go and load up my team weeks. Come on. We've got these. 82 rated, plays the prioritize. Ooh, why have I not gone with this guy faster? Garai. Come on. Today would be nice. Got loads of silver left mids. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There we go. Just got to log out and log back in again, dude. I have to do the exact same thing. Nice. But yeah, silver left mids. Uh, silver left mids might work. Uh, silver Italian midfielders might work. What price are you? Color of? Whatever they go up to. Uh, who is going to be a good buy? Uh, this guy will be. O, Y, Z. Odds of Bala. 1, 5. You cheap. 1, 2. Beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. You bought loads of Garai's. 1.5 and a Serbia to 2k. Brilliant. Hopefully as well. I know, Marky Matchups didn't really have anything. That moment's Marky Matchups got money because of the silvers in it, in all fairness. Gabriel Polista. This guy's also risk free. 
Cedric Bay 2 3, that's decent. Can't believe that guy won it. I thought he was always going to be a uh, slimmer, aren't he? What's the formation? 4 4 2. 4 4 2 flat, if I'm not wrong. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, cool chat, you can have them. Interesting how these, uh, interesting how the, what's it called, the League Gun guys do. OYZ, thank you very much for getting rid of him. I actually hated having him popping up right now. Alright, come on. Today would be nice. No, he's already been bought up. My uh, server seems slow right now. Is the POTM card, that POTM card is really good. I think it looks quite nice personally. But yeah, Ozabala did really well last time. I think it'd be decent. Chat buying 50 pages zoom. We already got 50 of him. Ah. What to do? Go and buy SBC fodder. Check the SBC fodder list. There's literally a SBC fodder list made for 83 rated squads. Go and buy the players who are highlighted purple. They're the guys you should prioritise. Then everyone else you can go and get. So like what you guys would have seen is I've just bought a bunch of Atals and Ingots. Now the reason I bought a bunch of Atals and Ingots is because this guy is only 12k. And as a result of him being 12k, is even cheaper? 13k. Uh, everyone should go and do him. He's got 90 pace, he's got 84 shooting. Now of course, to fit into people's teams, you've kind of got to go Nigeria or Lee Gun. Now, what I'm going to look for is I'm going to look for left-sided players. Because I know that there is a complete and utter rarity. So we go look at left-sided players from Nigeria. And you've got Enrinku, Simon, Awobi. Nothing too amazing, you know. There's even a Musa. And now we go look for his other way linking him. Other than icons, obviously. Is Lee Gun. And we go look at Lee Gun left wingers. Now, you know, obviously you've got Neymar. But uh, Neymar's 974k. You then have literally no real like front runners apart from Inform Atal and Inform Inga. So as a result, what I've gone and done is, I guess it's almost like a bit of a secondary investment, is I've gone and invested like a million or whatever into Inform Ingas for like up to, what are we going for, like under 17.5k? And a bunch of Atal's for 38k. But just because I think they do really well, I think everyone should be doing that SBC because... It's such a cheap SBC, you know, everyone, basically when SBCs are cheap, you see them being mass done. So, yeah, my plan of action is going to pick up as many Informer Towers and Ingers and maybe just hold on to them until tomorrow because I don't think there's any panic, I don't think there's any worry on uh, holding on to them until tomorrow. So, to end off today's episode, I actually have got a little bit of a uh, another trading uh, tip for you guys. So, we've actually gone and sold on a lot of these silvers for the same price we bought them because I would prioritise... Basically selling the golden forms over them, but we've also sold an hotel for 50, for 59k. Now, the, what there is, is and it's a, it's a very strange strat, is that you apply a training onto an inform, or absolutely anyone, and you can normally sell, well, in the last few minutes of them being listed, normally you can sell them for a little bit more. It's a very, very strange strat, but it's uh, something, you know, that does work. So, uh, yeah, basically been doing this to all of these hotels that are listed, and likewise, same with all the ingers, just because, again, it's a very strange strat, but it is something that goes and works. Uh, something I would like to show you as well is a towel is up quite nicely. What are our towels for, uh, I'm pretty sure, 40k or under? He's now sitting at... He is fluctuating a little bit in the day, but he's now sitting about 47, 48k, which is, uh, which is pretty, pretty decent. We've got the Ingers as well, which I did go and buy on for 17.5 and under. And again, likewise, I think it's the exact same story. He is now sitting on probably around about 20k right now. So yeah, decent profit on these players. I'm probably not actually going to be selling them on yet. I'll probably sell them on lazy buys and then maybe look to sell them on this evening. Um, just because I you know, kind of want to keep them for when people are building their teams today. But uh, yeah, very, very happy with the outcome of that. Um, any coins we definitely lost on the Laporte's as well. We made back at 6 because of the decent SBCs. So uh, yeah, pretty, pretty decent episode. Hope you guys did enjoy as well. You see that the background's changed as well. Just, uh, just kind of done that. But yeah, thanks for watching today's video and I shall see you guys in another episode.